they just informed me that um, David Herbert is going to be out on early release. Michelle Plaquetta spoke in court when David Herbert was sentenced to eight years and eight months in prison for abusing three dogs in his Oceanside neighborhood. She got the news this week from the DA's office that Herbert could be released early to prevent COVID-19 in the prisons. I'm really scared. I, I feel like I I'm going back to, you know, looking over my shoulder uh, when I'm driving to make sure he's not going to be following me. Surveillance video showed Herbert taking Michelle's dog. The retriever mix was never found. Her name was Lala and, and we had her uh, for nine years. There was a bat found in his house that had her blood on it. Two huskies belonging to another neighbor were attacked with acid. One of their eyes was gouged out. I'm super angry at the negligence of CDCR to allow this individual to be released. He's a danger to society. Uh, the crimes that he committed are heinous. A motive was never revealed, but at his sentencing hearing, Herbert told the neighbors he was sorry. I apologize to them, man. I, no one deserves to have their, their, their animals, you know, abused. In a statement to News 8, the California Department of Corrections confirmed Herbert is eligible for early release under a program to help mitigate COVID-19 infections. However, eligibility itself does not guarantee release. The inmates must undergo a thorough review process before being approved. I never in a million years would think that this would happen to me, and it did. Keep your pets inside. Keep your children close. Make sure your doors are locked. Watch over each other in your neighborhood uh, to make sure that he doesn't strike again. District Attorney Summer Steffen says the Department of Corrections is not consulting her office be before they do these early releases. So she has real concerns about public safety. The people in her office are doing their best to notify San Diego County crime victims before these early releases come up. Barbara Lee. David, do we have any other details on the release, like a date or any idea where Herbert might be living? No, the Department of Corrections has not made a final decision on his release date, but we want to be clear, uh, he was eligible for parole next year anyway. So either way, he, he's up for parole, and when he does get approved, if he gets approved, it likely will be here in San Diego County.